You ever read a YouTube comment section? Or, or like a Reddit post? Or, or just anything? And, and you'll, you'll see people say a lot, you gotta be patient in invasions. And that's one of the most overstated, misunderstood... Is that a word? Misunderstood? I don't know. Anyway, the point is, it has its place. Don't be patient and not doing anything. That's stupid. Be patient and doing stuff. Uh, one of my Ten Commandments is always be harassing the host. Always be doing something to, to put yourself in a better situation than you were in before the invasion started. Like, using verticality to straight up one-shot uh, a bitch-ass phantom. The white birch branch just just not really all it's cracked up to be against someone who's actually looking at you I don't know why I don't know why it is that you can't just use that item when I'm looking at you turn into a box and I don't just immediately forget where you went I've played Metal Gear Solid I know it's supposed to work it it just doesn't though um so the thing about patience there's a difference between being patient and just being fucking nothing so fucking nothing, which is what a lot of invaders sort of default to. They just hang out with the enemies and that's it. Don't just hang out with the enemies. There are other places besides with the enemies for invaders to hang out. You gotta open up your social circle, baby boy. Listen to me. There's all kinds of things that would love to hang out with you. Just put on that obscuring ring, stand right outside the vision of the host, shoot his ass with a great big bow and arrow. That's actually one of the reasons, uh... I love the bow and arrow so much, the, the great bow, is you can actually do like serious damage like you saw at that beginning clip. And that's another thing, whenever you fight those hosts who, who refuse to leave the bonfire, grab a great bow, shoot them and knock them down. All right. When they're knocked down, rush in and then start your quote unquote duel at the bonfire. You'll probably have taken care of that 30% health advantage they have, and as long as you stay on their ass pretty good and don't let them heal, you can you can actually win the quote-unquote duel. Now, if they start healing, you know, all bets are off. Do what you gotta do. So these guys, they're not gonna play the level. They're just, they're not. Two people can't beat this level if there's an invader in it. So they need, they need three. They need a third guy. So here comes the third guy. Now this host is uh, the Lord God of pissing me off. This dude has it down to a science. Look at me punish this blue for pay playing poorly. And then the Crystal Soul Spears start. Yay! This is one of those things that will piss off invaders. You can't make a mistake and not be punished for it as an invader. If you're one-on-one -on -one with someone and you make a mistake, that person is probably going to capitalize on that mistake. But when you start putting two and three people together, um, it no longer works that way. Mistakes don't matter anymore. They can make all the mistakes they want and never be punished for it because they have friends with magic spells. Pew! I fucking loathe the, the caster buddy. Now, the melee buddy, it's not so bad. The caster buddy just fucking irritates me to no end. Because caster buddy is in no danger, ever. Caster buddy just hangs out, throws his stupid fucking spells. Don't be caster buddy. Hashtag end caster buddy. 2017. Always and forever. No more caster buddies. But this is one of those situations where I'm going to hold down a choke point. And, oh look at that! I was punishing him for playing poorly, and then I took a Crystal Soul Spear. That was my reward for playing well. Crystal Soul Spear. The blue ended up dying anyway, so we'll live with it. Oh, can't do anything against you, because I'll take a Crystal Soul Spear to the head. Gee, it sure would be nice if I had somebody just standing behind me casting Crystal Soul Spear to cover up every mistake I ever made. That's the kind of shit that gets under invaders' skins, under players' skins, uh, and why people bitch about invasions. So what it comes down to is you just can't
do anything where you can be punished by the Crystal Soul Spear. You just, or, or the Caster Buddy in general. Actually, Sticky Bandit recently uploaded a video, and it was very good. And it was him, and he beat this, this co-op group. He beat them once, and then some undisclosed amount of time later, but like at least days, it seems like, at least, at least 24 hours later, um, he invaded the same group later on down the game, entirely different level. They'd leveled up a little bit. He was playing with a different character. Anyway, he invades the same people. He beats them. All right. Now, the host of that invasion got on Reddit and was, he made a Reddit post that was like, hey, how come this invader was so good that he just, you know, mopped the floor with us? How come he didn't just do that at the start? Because there's two of you. <laughs> he has to play perfectly. He can't, he has to not only punish your mistakes, he has to also be thinking about whether or not you're going to be able to punish him for playing well. That's why, host of Embers, that's why no one is interested in coming down and just 2 v one in you. Now, as I mentioned, we're holding on to this choke point right here. Um, I've got the ladder that leads up to the Crystal Sage, and I've got the staircase that leads to the Wax Lady, um, the Librarian, the Scholar. And I can just sit here and I can hold this. All they have to do is, all they have to do is rush it on mass, and I'd have to give it up. But that never occurs to them. They don't do that. They just keep doing this. More Crystal Soul Spears. Isn't that just goddamn awesome? Fortunately, though, there's a little bit of a break. We get another Dark Moon. Now, the thing about the Dark Moons, that's two free Estus, man. Not necessarily free, but that's two more Estus up on the table, which I'm out, as you can see. I have zero Estus. Uh, this is one of those PvE Dark Moons that has no intention of actually fighting an invader. It's just going to run and fight PvE so that you don't have to deal with PvE while you fight the invader. Uh, and then it plunges to its death and dies and gives me two free Estus. Hooray. Again, all they had to do, just just rush en masse, and that never occurred to them. So they're sitting here playing footsie with me, which is fine. I'm content. I'm I know I'm good enough to get in and out between the two of them and do my damage. I just have to watch for fucking Crystal Soul Spear. But then, the most glorious, beautiful thing happens. R1, R1. Oh, and then what? Oh, what was that? What was that, you little bitch? What was that, you little sorcerer? Hmm? Hmm? You wanna start shit with me? I have my own fucking wizard. How does it feel? How does it feel? How does it feel to get Crystal Soul Speared to the fucking head and killed? It looked laggy on my screen, but whatever. Oh. Crystal Soul Spear is the greatest. I love it when I have somebody behind me just casting Crystal Soul Spear. That's super great. Anyway, patience hanging out in that one choke point right there where they, they have to come through there. There's no option. They'll either grow a sack and come fight you and something will change, or you can just hold that spot forever and just keep gaining Estus as blues fall off ledges. This is sort of the exact opposite of that, where... It starts off as a 2v1, turns into a 3v1, and then I'm not even anywhere these guys have to be. <laughs> but they refuse, they, they don't, they're not gankers, they're gonkers, I think Ouroboro used to call them. When you just don't play the level after you get invaded, you just want to deal with the invader. You just want to, you want to gonk. You're not, you're not setting out to do it on purpose, but you are fucking doing it. So we've got overleveled Phantom with a Katana, we've got Host with Miracles, and Wolnirs. Look at that. Three hits. Three hits from that fucking spell, and that's how much damage it did. That's just sad. It's just sad. I kind of want to play with that spell now. Oh, and Chaos Bed Vestiges. Yay! Good for you, overleveled phantom. Why don't you come down to the same fucking level the rest of us are playing the game at? You cheap piece of shit. Look at this damage. I'm at, like, 80% right now. Oh, and now I'm at 20. <laughs> well, good! So good! But that's not enough. But wait, there's more! Ron Popeil, colorized, 2006. So they summoned up a blue. I, I ran back there. You might have seen me. Like, 
I kind of ran back there to check and see if the blue was coming from that direction. He wasn't. He came from the other direction. Now, I know where they need to be. They don't have to come this way. They're supposed to go the other way. They could just go play the fucking level and make me play from behind them, which is much more difficult. It's much more difficult in an invasion to win if you're playing behind the party. But no, they they just want to hang out and fight me, kind of. They want to stand around with their shields and do gestures and cast spells at each other so that we can see what real Dark Souls looks like. Fucking goobers. Again, content. Obscuring Ring, uh, Great Bow. We'll get them to do something. Something will happen. They'll either start playing the level, or they'll come back here, they'll get pissed off enough that they'll come back here en masse, and uh, they'll try and fight me. And the great thing, the great thing about them coming back en masse is they don't even have to do it en masse. You're, you're, you're playing against three people, alright, but they need to function as one autonomous fucking collective hive mind in order to beat you. Uh, that's why Crystal Soul Spear and that kind of stuff is so effective against invaders. Um, as long as you're backing your dude up with spells, as long as you're backing him up with something so that I can't kill him, you're doing a fine job. But these two guys on mic, I expect that they're probably, you know, the password summoned. I expect that they're on a microphone together. Um, they can operate as one unit. The blue, on the other hand, the fat rolling, fallen knight, Dark Shield Nambla guy over here with the, the Great Sword and the Black Knight Shield. I expect he doesn't know what the fuck this game's even about. Like, he just saw this shit on sale at Target and, and picked it up. He comes after me. He breaks rank. Alright, so now the host has to come back him up. And now it's me versus these two, which is fine. I, I, we can do all this. And then here comes Katana Man a few minutes later. And I've pulled them back enough that now Spear Knight guy is involved in the fight. Oh, it's super fun to just chuck shit at people and see damage. That's my favorite part of this game. And this is it. This is all it takes. One Lothric Knight is enough to just completely shut all this shit down. Alright, so we got three options here. Who do you guys think I'm going after first? The host, the blue, or the overleveled phantom? Alright, pencils down. The answer is overleveled phantom. And we take him from 100 to 0 in fucking 5 hits. Why did we go after him? 1. Chaos bed vestiges. 2. He's got that overleveled damage. 3. The katana weapon art's good. And 4. Most importantly, he's probably communicating with the host. They can communicate with each other, whereas the blue and the host cannot. So let's go kill the blue. Why go after him? One, he's incapable of defending himself. He probably does more damage than the host with a great sword. He's worth two Estus, and then there's a cavalcade of other reasons that we could, like, you know, make to go after this guy. We're going after him, that's the point. But then watch, watch it. Just watch how beautiful this is. The host comes and starts hitting me. What does the blue do? Literally stands there, literally frozen. I'm not using this word as a meme. I'm serious. I'm going to cuck him out of his fucking concords. He's going to sit there and watch. He's going to watch as I kill his host. He's going to do nothing because he's worthless and he doesn't understand anything. This is Dark Souls 3. This is why I, oh, this is why I love this game. Just get fucked, boyo. Anyway... That's my video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time. Later, y'all. Fucking dog is not helping. These fucking dedicated gankers. <laughs>